At the Alexandra Palace today, we're doing a show called Section 28 and the Queer State. The most incredible theatrical performance. Just amazing. Well, the play is about uh, Section 28, which was introduced by Mar Margaret Thatcher and which was repealed in the UK in 2003. And essentially, it was a clause banning the promotion of LGBT uh, peoples in schools. Um, and essentially what we've done is we've devised the play, um, introduced some characters um, based on historical facts um, to create this play, this story, bringing it right up until uh, 2019. I found the story interesting. Uh, at first it was kind of, it seemed a bit disjointed. And then I uh, realised that, uh, you know, going back in Ray's life, first he was laying on the table and then it was going back, you know, and the story was unfolding, so that's what was interesting. It was really beautiful. It had, it was funny, it had some, like, heartfelt moments, and, yeah, a really good storyline. Well, what was interesting for me to find out about was the Black Action Group, which were black activists who were instrumental in uh, the repeal of Section 28, which is something that I did not know anything about, um, how the black community in Harringay um, rally together with other groups to protest this clause that was introduced. So that was really educational and informative. I think uh, telling people is important. Um, uh, information is, is the key really uh, to uh, educating people to be hopefully more, more broad minded. Uh, this, this film will help really. Yeah, it's good to bring LGBT issues out into the public forum and, as Rick said, to give people that opportunity to have an education and to raise their consciousness about it as well and to be inclusive and welcome that community into you know, broader society. It helped me think about what it must have been like at that time and how difficult it must have been like for you know, people in the LGBTQ community. Um, and a lot of people didn't know what was going on back then, so they probably felt uh, in the shadows. So it really brought that out for me and helped me feel more compassion. Well, I thought the message was amazing. Um, I'm really gutted, actually, that it's only for today <laughs> and that it's only two shows because I think they should really go on tour. Like, I think as many people should see this as possible. The rehearsal process, essentially, what we've done, uh, working with Kate Adsed, is come together, um, she would give us a sort of scenario and we would improvise it and then later on she would go and write it up as a script. So essentially it wasn't a script in hand, but then it became a script later on, which was a really, really interesting way of working. Um, and just an extraordinarily creative, exciting time. Um, and it's promenade, so the audience essentially goes with us, with the uh, characters on this journey through time and through all these different scenarios as they walk around the building and finally end up in this magnificent building, which brings us to the present day, 2019. I thought it was really good. Um, it's been a while since I've seen a play actually, especially a promenade piece where you have to like move around, site specific sort of stuff. Um, I've been involved with one when I was back in college, um, but to actually be at the audience and like go through it was kind of, it was really good. I was kind of a bit worried because when you go through like walking pieces you kind of think oh is the projection going to be okay, is everyone going to be able to hear, can I see everything, but no it was really brilliant, very well thought out, great location. I'm happy and lucky to have had this experience thanks to everybody involved.